Kathy Brower with the Memphis Tiger Network. It was senior day here at the Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium as the Tigers won their third straight game, dropping the Southern Miss Eagles 42 to 24. Southern Miss got on the board first with a field goal, but 39 seconds into the second quarter, junior Jai Stibe scored a rushing touchdown from four yards out, his fifth of the season. Five minutes and 24 seconds before half, freshman Allen Cross scored a one-yard touchdown from a Jacob Karam pass. Strong defense forced an eagle fumble on the 35-yard line, and the Tigers capitalized minutes later when Stibe would score his second touchdown of the game with a 13-yard run. Despite a Southern Miss touchdown with four seconds to play in the half, the Tigers took a 21-10 lead into the locker room. Two and a half minutes into the second half, junior Brandon Hayes scored a touchdown on a nine-yard run. With 9.49 left in the third, Cross scored his second touchdown of the game with a 38-yard reception from Karam. Four minutes later, Hayes fought through the Eagle defense and scored an 11-yard rushing touchdown, his second of the game. The Eagles scored a touchdown to start off the fourth quarter with a nine-yard pass to Quentin Pierce. The Eagles scored again with 2.59 left in the game with a 26-yard touchdown pass. Despite the Eagles' best efforts, the Tigers came away victorious with a 42-24 win. We talked with Tigers Alan Cross, Akeem Davis, Brandon Hayes, Jacob Karam and head coach Justin Fuente. Karam put him in good spots. You know I can't do it without him. Just had a great feeling. Knew uh, when I scored the second one that uh, we're gonna we're uh, we had this uh, win secured. I seen our other running back Jai going out there score two touchdowns. We were competing to see you know who can get the best who can get the most yards and the best blocks and you know we ended up with a tie. But it was great having getting scoring two touchdowns. It feels great going into next season. You know, we got the momentum swing, and, you know, it's going to be hard replacing some of the seniors that we're losing, but it's going to be great going into the next season as well. Yeah, we wish we had 10 more games to play this year. Uh, you know, it was, definitely, it was definitely difficult at the beginning of the year to not be able to get as many wins as we wanted, but, um, you know, we went through some adversity as a team, and we feel like that, that adversity is that fire kind of got us to where we are now of getting over the hump and turning this program around. And uh, so, you know, at, um, we wish we wish uh, we could have started got over the hump earlier. But uh, um, we're just we're just thrilled with the win tonight, and, and you know, thankful for all the seniors, all the work they've done, and uh, it's definitely a special tonight. Man, it was a whole lot of hard work. You know, I've been playing football all my life since I was eight years old, and knowing that it could possibly come to an end on tonight. It just compelled me to go out and leave everything on the line. And, you know, I was thankful for my family who was there. You know, I was thankful for my mother who couldn't make it, you know. And, I, you know, I, I, I was thankful for those guys who I battled with and fought with, those seniors, man, who, who's, who've been through it all, who, who's, who've experienced what I've experienced and who know how rough it is, but to, you know, come out and finish and play strong and, and play relentless and unleash the passion and the enthusiasm the way we did tonight, you know, I, I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change it for the world. Uh, proud of our kids today on both sides of the ball. Um, proud of the way they prepared, handled some of the distractions that come with playing on this week. They're not necessarily bad distractions, but they're just – Different than a normal week, um, handling the Thanksgiving break and all that kind of stuff. And um, by and large, played pretty well. When we were smart um, and didn't do things to hurt ourselves, I thought uh, we took control and, and, and dominated the ball game for the most part. But uh, it was a big boost for the kids. I'm, I'm pleased for our seniors. I think it's a rewarding experience for them, and we couldn't be happier for them. That's a 42-24 win for the Tigers, closing out their season with a 4-8 and record. We'll see you back here next year at the Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium as the Tigers compete in the Big East. For the Memphis Tiger Network, I'm Kathy Brower.